Yo, what's up guys? You got PokeAim here with a Mega Enter... Mega Enter? Or Enter Mega Altaria Showdown Live. Mega Altaria has now been released in Pokemon Sun and Moon, so I figured why not do an Enter Mega. I also have uh, one that I did of Latios, uh, Mega Latios yesterday, and the day before I did Fabio, aka Mega Ampharo, so you guys can check those out. I also plan on doing Mega Latios and eventually Deancey when they let me use it on Showdown, but uh, this team was given to me by NJMP. It's been a little while since I actually used one of his teams. Uh, they carried me through most of my road to top 10, but we have Dragon Dance, Mega Altaria. I feel like Mega Altaria was one of the Megas that got more nerfed than buff this generation because a lot of the Megas like Pinsir, like Metagross, like Beedrill, they all get the auto speed boost, right? So they really benefited from that, but then you have Altaria, which did, never had a speed change anyway, um, and obviously Dragon Fairy is great in general, but then Pixelate was nerfed. Uh, or the eight abilities were nerfed from 1.3 to 1.2 times this generation. So it's a little bit weaker, and I feel like team compositions are the same when you want to use this mod. You're going to be using Magnezone to trap Skarmory, Scizor, and Celesteela this generation. And um, just try and win with Dragon Dance Mega Altaria. Uh, we have Thunder Wave Lottie, which is nice for Magearna. This defensive Landorus with like Eevees all over the place. I'm assuming this is just for Mew and Magearna. Uh, Scarf Keldeo, and then a Citrus Berry, a Tatamize, Celesteela, which should be pretty fun. Uh, I like the fact that we got Air Slash and Earthquake to lure uh, Heatran, though. Uh, maybe it's not necessary, but we'll see. Uh, this is Defog Latios, but let's go ahead and look for a game. Um, I like Giga Drain on Celesteela because being able to deal with Pokemon like, well, one, this is pretty big. So we actually got Rain. Um, once I knock out Ferrothorn, I think I just Dragon Dance up with Altaria and win. So that's a big thing for me. Uh, definitely only Magnezone because it stops Pelipper, or at least scares Pelipper out. Uh, he should go Swamper here always. Should definitely go Swamper here always. I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna go directly into my Celesteela here because again, once I trap Ferrothorn, Altaria wins. I don't expect him to stay in. If he is offensive, yeah. If he is offensive, that's bad for me. But I think he'd go directly into Swamper, and I want to be able to go out to Celesteela here on the Swamper. I feel like I have to make an aggressive play turn one. Obviously, if he's offensive and goes for Hydro Pump, this is bad. Uh, a play I can make is just sub immediately. But I think going directly into Celesteela is the best play possible. Especially because I get off the Giga Drain damage I need on Swampert. This could work out terribly for me, like I said. But I'm hoping that he just goes directly into Swampert here. He should not sack Pelipper ever. Let's see. So he U-turns. Um, which is bad, obviously, because Tapu Koko can come out if it wants to. Same thing with Kingdra. Though I'm not sure if Kingdra would come out. I know I would go Coco here, if anything, first. Just to get up the Electric Terrain and hurt me with the uh, Thunder and whatnot. Yeah, this is a problem. This is a huge problem. Um, Landers can come in, uh, obviously an HP Ice is an issue. This thing can sweep in the late game too. Uh, I gotta be careful about this plus Coco. I'm gonna make the Magnezone play. I don't want to because I want to trap this and this is gonna hurt if he drops a Thunder. That did so much damage, Jesus. We'll double out to Landers here. I don't expect an HP Ice there, if anything he'd U-turn or what is this, Gigavolt Havoc? Yep. Nice, so Lenris gets in and we're going to be able to uh, just Earthquake right here. There's no way we're letting... I can set up on this with Altaria, so I'm alright, but I don't think... I think he'd go... Actually, he should go Pelipper here. He should definitely go Pelipper. Like, Keldeo destroys him with Rain up too. He should go Pelipper. Should always go Pelipper. Uh, goes Ferrothorn, however, which gives me a U-turn, um, which is nice because, I, again, I get to U-turn out. If he if he expects me to go Magnezone, that's fine. Uh, U-turn is nice because he gets I get all the momentum from it. If he stays in, I get to figure that out. If he switches out, I'm good. Uh, again, I'm hoping that he just lets me trap his Feral Thorn right here. I don't mind if he gets a Pazzer. He's going to be trapped. Obviously, with Rain up, I'm a little bit worried, but... Yeah, it goes for Thunder Wave, so best case scenario for me. Knock Off does not break my sub, and we stall out a turn of Rain. So we want to trap this thing immediately so we can Dragon Dance up on Pelipper. Like I said, it didn't break my sub. And we stall out rain, and we prevent uh, Feral Thorn from we prevent Feral Thorn from stopping Altaria. I don't think Feral Thorn even stopped Altaria besides the fact that he has Thunder Wave. So we also we also end up behind a sub, which is pretty cool, um, especially because he has nothing that can actually beat me behind the sub. And HP Fire is going to be able to knock it out. Obviously, he does a Swamper. Excuse me. Don't I don't want to say he has nothing that can beat me behind the sub, but I'm good with Rock Sub, especially because if he wants to defog, that's fine. This is Rock's Mega Swamper, by the way. That's just something to note. 
That is 100% rocks Mega Swampert. Any damage on that is going to be good for Altaria. Um, so I have no problem going right for this Flash Cannon right here. The good thing is my Landers is healthy enough to take on an HP Ice from Coco as well because he was Z. So gets up his rocks. We find out we're faster, so he is adamant. I mean, I use his team, um, but just some things obviously confuse me at some points. So uh, I want to keep Sal still alive. Uh, that's in range now of Surf. The fact that he's adamant, he should be in range of Scald, excuse me. Uh, Coco is a giant threat. I'm a Thunderbolt here. Yeah. I figured he would make the Pelipper play right there, yeah. I, I just had to go on my gut. So, we get the Pelipper on switching. I don't have to worry about rain after a couple more turns. Basically, I had a Latias as a switching, so I figured he'd try and make an aggressive double like that into something like, um, into that Mon. And it worked out for me. Like, it was... Basically, I was willing to sack Magnezone, so I don't want to say it was an aggressive play, because it wasn't. I was sacking Magnezone, whether he stayed in or not. But I was able to get rid of Pelipper, which means that he has less turns now to abuse the rain. Obviously, he has like seven, but... Less than what he would have had. And he gives me rain as well, so... I'm just go for my Z. As he U-turns. Uh, so two turns of Stealth Rock damage on Coco is enough for Skull to knock it out. Uh, he can go Kingdra here if he wants to. Which gives me a Dragon Dance. I'm gonna go Lottie here. I guess he could Ice Beam, but I'll Thunder Wave if anything. Specs Ice Beam is the only thing that can knock me out, I believe. But then that gives me Celestilla as well with an Totemize. Yeah, and if he drops a Draco, it gives me that Dragon Dance. Which in turn should let Altaria just win the game. I believe Altaria just wins now. So this is what I was going for. Um, ideally, we live this hit from Swampert too. If we do live the hit from Swampert, I'm going for a second DD. Yeah, because I want to be able to outspeed Kingdra. Let me just calc if I live this hit from Swampert. It's Adamant Swampert. Altaria. It's been so long since I've used this mod. I don't know. I don't think I live the hit from Swampert. It's Adamant. Adamant Swampert Mega. Oh, it never kills. Nice. So we get another DD. Literally never kills. Beautiful. And what I can actually do is... Well, I can't roost because I'm not the four times weak to it anymore. Uh, Electric Terrain ends, so he's actually forced to sack Coco after before going Halucha, which is the only Mon that can... Um, that can actually do damage. Like, I'm faster than... I'm faster than Kingdra because I am indeed... Uh, uh, Tim, uh, Jolly, not Adamant. So he will be faster. Wow, he is running Timid Scarf. <laughs> he's running Timid Scarf. Kingdra, interesting. It means I can lose. <sighs> yeah, because I have the Secret Sword here. I think that does a decent... Like, it does a decent chunk. Like, I can... <sighs> How do I win this game? How do I win this game? I sack Lando to sell up, set up a Totemize with Celesteela. Yep. I sack Lando to set up an Atomize with Celesteela. He's timid. He doubled out into Capococo though, which is worse for me here. Um, but then again, I live HP Ice anyway. At 82, I definitely live HP Ice. As he goes for U-turn, which gives him Halucha. Halucha does get the Electric Seed though. Sacks Kingdra before going Lucha, so that's not bad. No, I think I still lose to Halucha with the Electric Seed boost. Yeah. Yeah. I lose regardless. We do put him on a timer, but I don't think that makes it... Like, I have to dodge I, go, I jump kick, I'm pretty sure. We have to sack Keldeo. Go back out on the Landers, and you turn into Celesteela. Uh, I have to try and set up with my, um, my Celesteela on a turn that he dies. To Toxic. Which might be possible right now. Assuming we live this. Nice. Alright, living that was actually really crucial. Because we go Celestilla and... Okay, I, al I always sack, I always sack Landers here. Always sack Landers. I totemize that way out, speed top of Coco. Man, he's running Timmy Kingdra. Oh, he has Drain Punch too, so we're good, we're good. He has a, he has a neutral again. So I totemize and then I knock out uh, top of Coco with Earthquake. Ideally.
Actually, I hope he lives this. So I get a boost. Let's go, Celesteela. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, the special attack boost shouldn't matter either way. Because I would have to go for the... Um, high jump kick doesn't kill. At 64, I don't think high jump kick kills. There's no way. It might. Do I knock out Coco? I want the SD predicting Lando. Oh, I mean, I guess it was a 50-50 at that point if he was thinking about it. He still wins if high jump kick knocks me out, though. Or if he crits me right there. Oh, wait, does that matter? No, nah, it doesn't because poison does enough. It should do enough, and I, I think my best play is always to Earthquake the Coco. Um, it's only 243 attack, though, so I don't know if it knocks it out from 63%, but we shall find out right now. Ah, oh, it does. Nice. Good game. Nice. So, Altaria at least um, beat Swamper and forced him into... I don't know. I felt if he was uh if he was adamant if he was adamant or excuse me modest Kingdra and not timid we outsped that but unfortunately he was timid and not modest. Oh, Atari did a little bit there. At least it, it showed that it can at least live Mega Swamper, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is a game that's gonna be scary uh, because the tox effects is really hey tox effects gonna be really annoying for me to deal with. Oh thank you friend. I think I lose this game. We'll see though. Talk spec's gonna be a pain to deal with. Uh, Lando matches up well versus Excadrill, which is more than likely Scarf. Can I win with this? No. Atari is not bad. Like it beats everything, but it loses to Talk Specs, which also happens to beat everything. So that's like the biggest issue I feel. And if I were him, I'd lead off with Zapdos. Seeing as how I lead off with Zapdos, I'm actually gonna lead Altaria. Have fun. Uh, I'm actually going to lead Altaria because if he's not running Haze on Toxpec, sometimes they run Toxic T-Spike. Uh, if he's not running Haze, I'm good. If he leads Clef, I get him Lando and get up Rox. It might be three attacks non-Defog Zapdos as well. Which again makes Altaria's job easier. And Altaria's pretty cool because it functions as a Zard Y check as well as just uh, a Tapu Coco check to an extent if it's not running uh, Twinkle Tackle. Leads off with Hoopa. I guess Gunk Shot would be annoying, but I'm going to risk this Speed Tie turn one and just click Return. He should go Toxapex always. He goes Clef, um, which is also a, a pretty good play, considering it takes every hit. Didn't take that that well, though. I think he's forced a softball here, which gives me Lando. I, I really think he's forced a softball. If he goes for Rocks and I could have 2 a KO'd him, I think he would softball here a Thunder Wave. Yep. So this gives me Rocks, and um, this also helps me out versus Zapdos. He Moonblasts immediately. Not a bad play at all. Not a bad play. We can U-turn out, though, into Magnezone. This dodges any attack he wants to go for. This is also just good in general because it means that extra drill will more than likely come out. I'm a Flash Cannon, though, first. I don't care if he goes Drill. He goes Toxapex. I want to play it like I'm Scarf. So I'm going to go Ladio. I'm going to play it like I'm Scarf. Yeah, because I want him to double later. Yeah, I'm going to straight up play it like I'm Scarf. This Scarf too? He can't spin. He's going to... Yeah, he has to Earthquake. Yeah, so this is Scarf Excadrill. That damage is going to be good for talks, uh, for returns later. I mean, I always have Landers as a switching. Could he have anything that can take advantage of Landers? I'm a Draco. I, I, like he didn't have anything that could take advantage of me anyway. I don't think Latios did much. I guess it checks Zard Y, but it, so does Altaria. Um, Caldeo can come out now. He's gonna double out into Toxapex most likely, so I'm gonna make the Magnezone play again. I'm trying to play it. I'm gonna try and play it like if he double Earthquakes and he gets me, but I'm, I have to try and play it like I'm Scarf Magnezone. Yeah, let's see if he went Clef. Yep. So this gives me a Flash Cannon. As he goes drill, not bad. He obviously can't double here either. And I can just go out into my Celestilla on the Iron Head. Eat that up. He actually made the Rapid Spin play. Wow. I mean, I get Landorus back in. Even if Zapdos comes out, like I can at least Toxic that thing and put it on a timer, which lets my... Um, which lets Celesteel in the late game do something. Like, in order for me to win, I need so many conditions, but... This one has a problem. And he has max speed Zapdos too. 
Ah! Alright, Altario. You gotta do your thing, bro. I have to pull the double out into Magnezone one more time. And he goes Excadrill first! No! I have to, I have, like, I, I'm hoping that what I do, because I have Electrum Z, I giggle with Havoc, that, give, blah, give Volt Havoc, so that'll be able to knock out Tox effect. But, I always gotta make this play. That man is trying to make plays out here. I'm surprised. Altaria wall zapped us, but I'm not gonna, yep, yeah, I'm not gonna bother double if he's gonna make this. Please at least give me this Giga Drain off. Nice, so we at least knock out Excadrill, so Magnezone isn't going to be forced out as much. Obviously, Charizard is a giant threat, though. Um, I don't know if it's Zardex or why. I'm going to Air Slash if it's Zardex. Just Flame Charge. Jesus. Don't I beat this 1v1, though? I think so. Do you kill me with plus 2 Flare Blitz? Oh my god, that's game. GG. Alright, so I got destroyed right there. Um, the only way I would have won that game is if I uh, I did pull off what I was trying to do, which was scaring... It's crazy because I fight the the only SD Flame Charge Earthquake Zard X in the game that could actually be Altaria. <laughs> uh, the only way I would have been able to pull off that game, I think, is if I was... Um, if I was able to successfully trap the Tox effects, you know, give, put him in that false sense of security. Uh, we're going to go Landers because it matches up well versus literally everything. Uh, leads Garchomp, so this gives me a Toxic immediately. I'm assuming this is Mega Chomp. Actually, I want Rocks up more, so once I trap Celestilla and beat down the Excadrill, we're good. Um, yeah, Mega Chomp does not do too much to me. Draco isn't going to... Come on, dude! Does not kill ever. I have for death investment too. <sighs> so that's annoying. I'll make the Magnezone play here, but he there's no way he goes Celestella. He always has hand growth. That's so annoying, man. Even if he got off a lot of damage, like I'm not gonna deny that would have done like what 70%. Alright, so at least I get a Celestella. This gives me a sub if he's max speed. Or not max speed, but one of the sets. I'm just gonna give it. We'll have it. Forget it. Yeah, give me your Celesteela. Give me all of your Celesteela. There we go. Give me that Celesteela. All right. So we get rid of a giant threat, but even either way, like I don't have a pivot now on Garchomp, which is annoying. Just so annoying. A flash cannon here because this mon doesn't do anything. I get a little bit of justice there, but there's no way that like that makes up for me losing my Lando and whatnot. We're gonna make the Latios play too. If he Dracos, he gets me. Yeah. Nice. So I'll Draco here. Soul Dude boosted. Give me that kill. <laughs> I'm so sad now. Like I guess Celestella, Celestella wins the game. That did so much damage. What? Celestella wins the game. And Manzone doesn't really have much use. Like, Celestella does win. Um, I need a special attack boost in order to knock out Garchomp. And I can Giga Drain spam versus Hippo. I'm kind of hoping it's Ice Fang, if anything. Makes a double onto Garchomp. Again, I'm going to sack this because it doesn't do anything. And then what I'll do is I'll go directly into Caldeo and spam Scald. Trying to get a... Actually, let me figure out if he's Whirlwind Hippo. Because if he's not, then I'm good. There's no reason not to Dragon Dance here. Figure out if he's Rowan Hippo. Because Altaria, Altaria does some massive damage to his team. And me being Mega Evolved, yes, Earthquake from Mega Garchomp is going to hurt, but he's heavily special attack investing to kill me with a crit. Let's find out if you have Toxic or what your set is. He just flat out disrespected this mon. Yeah, I don't mind stalling out your sand turns, bro. I really do not. I think I'm gonna earthquake too. Eventually, like when he's getting, when he gets too much health, I want an earthquake on the extra drill coming in. Because if I get rid of that mod, I just win with this. 
I feel like he's thinking about it. I'm going to Earthquake here. Even if he stays in, so be it. Like, if I get extra draw upon switching, Altaria wins on its own. I don't know if he could touch me. I want to find out if he has Whirlwind, too. I will just return here. There it is. Give me Celestilla. Nice. Drag this boy out. Give me this Giga Drain kill. I don't care if you go drill. Manaphy, not a counter. Take some Giga Drain damage and take some sand. Yum. So I can see him going for um, a Hydro Vortex here. We'll make the Latios play on that. Doesn't have very many sand turns left. Hydro Vortex or Z Rain Dance? There's a Hydro Vortex. Nice. I get a Psy Shock off and I get a 2 hit KO on something or a kill. Uh, this is Soul Dude boosted, so ideally, get a kill right here. He goes Hippo, that's fine. Goes Tango, that should be 2 hit KO'd. Oh, or not. Okay, well, whatever. Draco kills it. <laughs> so I do not care. So now I don't have to land anything. Excadrill comes out. I kind of want to hit on this so I can... I want to hit on this. So I can win with... Um, I don't think that matters either. So like Keldeo comes out and revenge kills regardless. Of like what play he makes. So Altaria doesn't actually do anything right now. And Latio still outspeeds Manaphy and Garchomp. So I'm actually going to sack my um, Altaria right here to the Iron Head from his extra drill, which is Life Orb. Gives me Keldeo as a Scald answer. And then Keldeo also... Well, Secret Sword is actually fine too. No, Secret Sword might not do a KO Hippowdon. I'll go for Scald here. Don't care if he goes Garchomp because I'll be able to set up and win. From there with my, uh, with my Celestilla. Secret Sword doesn't allow Manaphy to come in though. Secret Sword is actually the better play. I don't allow Manaphy to come in and I waste two turns of sand from Hippowdon. I think I'll be able to a KO too, based on Altaria at 47%. Mmm, that is close. That is not enough though. The so Celestilla comes out. I'll be able to just Giga Drain right here. Even if he goes Garchomp. Like damage is damage. And if he stays in, that's fine and ruins me, I don't care. If he goes extra draw, I beat that. Goes Garchomp. I get the damage that I need for a plus one Giga Drain to knock him out, so I'll take that. We'll make the Keldeo play too, because I'm kind of hoping he Draco so I can rock polish. Oh, he just Fire Blast, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just get our kill with Scald as well. Scald nabs us a kill. Uh, with Sand Up, Manaphy should be 2 hit KO'd. And Celestin is going to win this in the late game. Are we playing Weak Game as Romans? I just realized who we were playing. Why was that Fizz Def Tango? Uh, why did Tango take 68%? Is that just standard Fizz Def Tango? Max HP? I feel like Latios does so much more. Soul do. Tangrowth. Yeah, what the hell? Man was running Spadef, but like, not enough. I don't even know what it was. Literally doesn't matter what play he makes right now. I click Scald because I can't let him SD. Yep, I am good. Sack this, and then I get off my Rock Polish, which allows me just to beat Garchomp. I tatamize, Rock Polish up, we are good to go. I hit him with that tatamize, bro. Hey, that do not matter. As long as this Air Slash connects, we are good. This better, this better connect, bro. Gone. Get my beast boost. I'm base boosting. Ah, Celestilla is in. Nice. Still wish I had Rocks up the entire game. I at least pressured him to Rapid Spin, but at least it worked. Um, rocks up also would have meant that, like, Altario would have been able to 2 a KO with Pat on instead of him getting up his Rocks on that one turn where he disrespected me uh, by getting up Rocks in front of Altaria instead of rolling immediately. Like, Rocks would have been the difference, the KOs. Uh, Altaria is not bad in this, but we have to worry about Mew. Mew's annoying. Coco's a pain, too. I will eat Landorus because uh, Landorus can Toxic Mew, and I think I, I, I want to go for that. Uh, Coco can win in the late game. I have no idea what type of Garchomp this is, and it's Megazard. Not sure if X or Y. Uh, Landorus also helps me out if it is Megazard X. Like, I, I don't know. Altar is a cool Pokemon, but I just feel like 
with, especially with Fizz Death Mew running around, like if you want to use a set, I think you should use Dragon Dance Heal Bow or Dragon Dance Facade. I think that should be the set you should use. I think if you really, really, really want to uh, to use Mega Altaria right now, Dragon Dance Facade might be the set. Like I'm actually worried about setting up because of Paras and stuff. So leaves with Mew. I live one Ice Beam and I need to Toxic this guy. Yep, I need to Toxic him. Mmm. Okay, only reason I let my Lanterns take 83% is because I needed a Toxic off. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And he has Earthquake as well. Great. A good play, obviously, but like, come on, dude. He's gonna Ice Beam here again. I can't believe that, man. I needed to land. Like, he's this weird Mew. I wonder if he has Will O Wisp. He's gonna talk. He's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna Thunder Wave him. <laughs> I don't care if he Ice Beams right here. I'm Thunder Waving. Yeah, I don't care if they're synchronized. I do not. At this point, I do not. If I wanna win, it's the fact that he's this weird Mew that's gonna let me win. Yeah, go ahead. Catch that pair. You know what? Catch this Draco too. Catch this Draco right now. I don't care if you go Tyranitar. Hey. He's a Salt Vest? Nope. There goes any damage on Tyranitar. I'll take it. Thunder Wave this boy. What if he's Dragon Dance regular Tar? Man, Toxic would have been so good. I'm, I'm assuming he was like physic, physically defensive, but I think he might just be a Salt Vest. But I couldn't tell because I didn't get off my Draco. Tar? What are you doing, bro? There's no reason not to click Pursuit here or, or Crunch. Either play is good. At least I get up some rocks. He's Defog Mew. So he, he should be Defog Mew, so I don't think he actually is. Like, I'm faster than anything. Scarf Tar doesn't kill me anyway. Um... I'm thinking he's Defog Mew, actually, because he does have Charizard, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, that's odd to me, him having Charizard plus no Defogger. Like, Ice Beam Earthquake Mew is cool because, you know, it snipes Landers and, like, Heat Ran and whatnot, but... Anyway, my Landers was the best play because it does outspeed Tyranitar. Even if it's Choice Scarf, it doesn't knock me out. I get up my Rocks here, which is what I wanted. It's Leftovers Mew. And we'll just U-turn right now. Ideally, he gets full paired as I go Magnezone. And I get off a of Gigavolt Havoc and knock him out. Alright, so again, ideally he gets full parried right here. As I get off this Gigavolt Havoc. Or I just kill him. Like, all of those would be fine. Alright, great. So I get rid of his potential Defogger right there. The Mon that gave me the most problems. Keldeo can win easily. Scarf Keldeo speeds his entire team and destroys it. Coco destroys my entire team. That's something I want to know. I want to keep Magnezone alive because I, if I can get Feral Thorn in on a double, I can still let Altario win. Like, I, like Magnezone is the crutch. Magnezone is useful on this team. It's so needed. And he can just go out Tarantar in pursuit. That's the problem. All right, he goes Charizard first, though. Whether it be X or Y, Altario is mm -mm. not the play if it's X. I think Lando's the play. Because at least if it's X, I get off an Intimidate. If it's Y, he kills me. But I didn't want to make the Altara play just in case. Yeah. So he gets up the Sun for me, which is nice. I can go Altaria now and Dragon Dance up. I want to double so, so, so badly. Predicting the... Uh, the Feral Thorn. But I feel like he might just go for a Rogue Flamethrower again. Yep, he stayed in. That's what I'm saying. Like, a rogue flamethrower like that. I really want to double again predicting Madden Zone. Or predicting Feral Thorn. You should go Feral Thorn here. I'm going to make the double. I'm behind. I have to make doubles like this. Yeah, that made zero sense. Sack Charizard. I, okay. Obviously, it worked out for him, but not... Because I just lost my answer to Feral Thorn. <laughs> I don't know if he was predicting me or not because the way he's just been staying in with everything. No, he would have went directly into Feral Thorn there, if anything. Why'd he make this play? Does he not have Gyro Ball on Feral Thorn? I guess that's what I'm going for now, huh? Don't burn me. 
Thanks. At least he's gonna do less as well in rocks. So he just wanted to abuse his uh He just wanted to abuse the um I wasn't gonna say the the sun, I guess. We'll go Celestilla because the only attack he can hit me with is Earthquake, and I can at least autonomize. If he sacks Charizard, I Giga Drain that and get a boost. I doubt he'd go directly into Charizard. But like me atomizing is still my best play. Okay, so it does go Charizard, which means I can Giga Drain it, get my uh get my boost to knock him out. And also threaten, I guess, I don't want to say Coco right now, but Giga Drain is the best play. It doesn't miss. Um, it also does decent damage to Coco. Maybe it'll put it in range of Earthquake. I'm not 100% sure. But I get my special attack boost, which is what I want. But then he goes Coco and gets a kill. I don't, I, think, I don't think this game is winnable. If I killed Zard, yeah, but I don't understand why he didn't go out into... Like, if I got two Dragon Dances, at least threatened him. I don't know. But I get my special attack raise, which is really nice. Coco comes out. Let's see how much I do. I should have imported this 50 years ago. So let's do that. Custom set. 60 to 70 uh, plus one. All right. So I th I think I need to air slash flinch him and then knock him out with like I don't I think I I'll, I'll safely lose if I go Altari here because it will be cool to a kill by Thunderbolt I need all my Pokemon left to win this game so I actually need to flinch him right here with air slash uh, in order to win. Hey 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 ah I'll take that I'll take that no. You mean actually said good game? I, <laughs> definitely. That was definitely a game. I'm gonna get Altara to do something. We're gonna get another one. I'm gonna get Altara to do something. But yeah, I think that at that point, that was my only play. I had to air slash and try and get a flinch. Okay. Okay, finally at least no um like no real Altari answers. In fact, there's a lot of months Alt Altaria sets up on, so I'm happy about that. I'm also pretty sure this is a Jack Button Feeny. He needs a Mon that deals with Landers as a lead, but like none of them really do. I'm pretty sure it's a Jack. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's a Jack Button Feeny. Anyway, Landers is a great lead. Um, outspeeding Magirna, and I can actually U-turn on that if he wants to Ice Beam. Go directly into Magnezone, trap him, and then go for the Z Gigabolt Havoc just to do damage for Altaria. Like, I need a little bit of chip damage on that, a little bit of chip damage on Feeny. And that's about it. I think Altaria just wins at plus one. So, hopefully this is the game when Altaria actually gets to do anything. But this guy is a friend. Pokemon is an interesting game, man. Like, sometimes I hate hacking my opponent. Other times it's like, Give me this. Give me this now. Yeah, it leaves off of Feeny immediately. And it's... Terrain went before my Intimidate. So this is a Speedy Feeny. That sounds funny. A Speedy Feeny. Uh, we'll go Celestella just in case he has Skull. I want Scout for Hydro Pump as well. Ice Beams. A Giga Drain. Ice Beam... Speedy Feeny. So he gives me a hit on top of Feeny, which is so good for Altaria. So, so, so good for Altaria right now. And we'll just Giga Drain again. Like, he can't do anything damage to me. And if he goes Zapdos, that's fine. Um, I have uh, a Lottie as a switching, a decent switching anyway. I obviously have to be careful about Magirna, especially because. Yeah, it's good versus me. It's really good versus me. I don't see an item on this lot, uh, on this Zapdos as well. Very nice double on my opponent's part into Magirna. I'm hoping it's not shift gear. Not like I have a play even if it is. I have to go zone. Oh, it's Trick Room. Trick Room all out pummeling? I don't think it'd be all out pummeling on Trick Room, especially because you have Doug Trio. I think I'm just going to give Havoc. It's Volt Switch. Are you kidding? Trick Room Volt Switch. No! So Marowak comes out. Boy's about to eat. As unfortunately, it's Lightning Rod. Ah, okay. 
uh, Lander still comes in and does take one hit, and we get up rocks. But that's good to know. Okay, so that was trick. I didn't. Even, it didn't even cross my mind that he could be trick room. I think that zone doesn't do anything now. Yeah, I don't think zone does enough right now to warrant keeping it alive. Because I can then go back out. Like, I, I sack this to Flare Blitz. He takes the recoil, and again, that recoil is good for Altaria at plus one. Um, Magirna having Volt Switch Trick Room is concerning. But we'll go Landers and get up our rocks right here. I can Thunder Wave Magirna later. So I, that's a little bit less of a threat, though. Uh, definitely. And he has to go directly into Tapu Fini, so I'll take that. Because that does give me Celestilla as a switch in. Taunt, Ice Beam, Moonblast, Defog. I am not sure at all. But Celestilla is always going to be my switch in. Uh, especially because rocks are up now. Or they're gone. <laughs> they are straight up gone. Let's just Giga Drain again. Uh, if he wants to go Zapdos, that's fine. Actually, Air Slash is better, I think. Uh, Air Slash should hit Marowak. You have to stay in, too. I get an unfortunate crit on my opponent, which actually does put him in range of plus one, so that makes me happy. But that sucks for my opponent. Um, Altaria is being set up to sweep, though. It really is being set up to sweep. Altaria is being set up to sweep. I'm going to double out to Latios, though. Expecting him to go Zapdos. Yep. That's what I wanted. And he should go Mag here, so we're going to double out to Landorus. I guess he could HP Ice slash Volt Switch. I don't think you HP Ice, though. I think you go hard mag. Exactly. Nice. So this gives me an earthquake. Regardless of him setting up like anything, this gives me an earthquake. Even if he goes Feeny, um, I want Feeny dead because if it's Misty Terrain, I can't click Toxic. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Always Celesteela. Always. I don't mind him taunting either. Just Air Slash. Knocks him out. Hits Zapdos for decent. Is it HPI Zapdos? It has to be HPI Zapdos. I mean, Latus is still always the best switch in, though. It takes Thunderbolt for days. If Magirna wants to come out, it has to take a Psyshock, and I definitely want to hit off on Magirna now. And he opts to stay in with Zapdos, too, so Rocks Up are going to be big. Rocks Up are going to be really big. I don't care if he goes mad because I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit that thing with a Thunder Wave. Uh, yes, he is a Trick Room team, but Thunder Wave means he doesn't get off attacks, and that again, we are setting up for once Dugshow comes out. I Dragon Dance up with Lando, with Lando, with Altaria, excuse me. We'll go Caldeo. Uh, if you get, I guess you could Flare Cannon here, but Caldeo didn't do enough. And maybe Scald spamming was actually the way of winning this game. Looking at how slow Fini was, so that was my bad. At least in that case, but like look at Celesteela now. Like Celesteela does not care. I'm not Earthquake here on the incoming Marowak or Feeny. Yeah, this gives me a boost. Get that Feeny out of here. We can finally get up rocks. Um Marowak knocks me out with flare bits though. We'll sack Latios. Get up my rocks. For Pinsir and then try and Dragon Dance up because if even if he goes Zapdos, I sack I sack Landorus to Zapdos and then I Dragon Dance up with Altaria and we win. So that's the game plan. Even if he goes Zapdos right here. Is this Z? Yeah, I don't care about this. Unless he's double defog. I'll U turn out, which should not kill Zapdos. Please don't do eleven. There's no way. Oh my god, no. I didn't want you doing 11. I mean, Celestilla still knocks out Marowak at the percentage of that, and it is faster, and it also prevents Pinsir from coming out, but I want Altaria to do something, man. Chickenberry shouldn't matter. Got Air Slash here, just in case he Volt switches. Ooh. May I take the next hit? Yep. Yep. And we wasted, uh... If he goes Duckshot, I get even more health, too. Yep. Yep. I... The, the important part is, as being up, or setting up on, um... On what's it called? On this mine. So, I sack Landers here on the Flare Blitz. 
uh, get off the Intimidate on Marowak, and then we finally do something with Altaria. Unless he's Will-O-Wisp, like, we do something with Altaria, which is what I wanted. Finally, it, get, it kills everything. And Celestilla beats everything now as well, just in case. Like, all I have to do is, Pinter can't set up, and all I gotta do is hit him with Air Slash. So we drag Nets up now. No! We still win, but that's annoying, man. I wanted to win the way I wanted to. Yes. PD, it won. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah, man. I, literally, the only reason I clicked this, I did the game I did because I tried to win with Altaria the entire time, but... Like, I mean, I'm still fine. It's just annoying. It's just so annoying. Because I knock out Penta with Air Slash here. If Close Combat knocks me out, I'll be sad. But it looks like it doesn't. Did I miss? I did not. But, like, I mean, Celesteela still wins, but... Uh, it's not the way I want it to win. This should do 35%. Yeah, but I, again, it wasn't the way I wanted to. I wanted to win with Altaria. I was setting it up for Altaria. I tried, guys. I really did. I really did try. Good game. But, ah, man, that makes me so sad. I was I was really trying to get Altaria to do something. I, ho I hope at least you guys saw, like, the common Pokemon like Zapdos, Tangrowth, they do not like, even if they have HPIs, they're only two times effective, they do not like at all Dragon Dance Altaria. And... Because it can just DD and roost up on those. So, the thing is, if you took Ferrothorn, obviously Magnus pairs so well with it. I at least hope you guys see that it does have some potential. Um, I didn't see any Venusaurs, though. Venusaur would have been just a pain to play. But, Sounds still putting more work than Altaria, I'm not gonna lie. This last game was actually set up, man. Obviously, I got a crit on top of Fini, but, like, all I needed was the initial damage. And the sugar berry popped on Magirna. Like, I'm glad I was able to earthquake that thing whenever it came in. Because popping that sugar berry, Altaria set up and won in the late game. Oh, well. You guys saw what I was trying to do. But uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Team's a little bit weak to top of Coco, so be careful. Um, obviously, Altaria sets up. But, like, Altaria's pressure, especially if they have Feral Thorn and whatnot, or their Zards decide. I'm going to keep clicking Flamethrower, even though I have a Feral Thorn. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed, of course. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.